We spoke before about your and Mr Hawke's great love. I hope this isn't an, an indelicate question, but have you thought about or discussed what's going to happen because one of you will die first and what happens to the other one? Indeed. No, I have. We've discussed it. He has no fear of death and we've, and we've talked about it quite a lot and uh, we've talked about the, his, his funeral and what he would like at it, to happen at his funeral. I've bought the graves and I'm going ahead and, and planning that. How do you think you would go on without him? With difficulty, Lee. With difficulty. He, oh dear. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he's my best friend. It strikes me that the flip side of having been so fortunate to have such a great and wonderful love. I'm so sorry that I've made you upset. Um, it strikes me that the flip side of that is that later on you just have such intense suffering. That's right. Look at us, what a couple. <laughs> and you're crying. <laughs> well, I brought it on myself by even raising that. <laughs> anyway, um, We'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for talking to me. And I hope I didn't overstep the line by asking about that. No, no, that's <laughs> oh, Sorry. Do you want us I'm to do sorry. a goodbye that's not so emotionally raw? Yeah, no, we don't need it right now. No. <laughs> I wanted to re-record because I was embarrassed I'd cried, but she insisted it stay. Um, I think it was rather fun that we were both. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's, nobody's ever actually made me cry in an interview before. I've had to suck it back. <laughs> Right before the 2019 federal election, both Scott Morrison and Bill Shorten had their final campaign interviews on the program, and word came through while we were live that Bob Hawke had died. I'm backing them, and I'm asking them to back me on Saturday. Scott Morrison, thank you very much for your availability to 7.30 during the campaign. Thanks very much, Lee. Always a pleasure. It's my very sad duty to break the news this evening that the former Australian Prime Minister Bob Hawke has died aged 89. His wife Blanche Del Perge issued a statement a short time ago. Mr Hawke uh, was... I had to announce the news from the standing spot, so I had about 10 minutes to sit on the floor of the studio, scribbling down dot points off the top of my head so I could make the announcement and give it the weight it deserved. Along with his treasurer, Paul Keating, they introduced an enormous series of political and economic reforms which paved the way for the modern Australia in which we all live today. Blanche, I'm sorry to see you under these circumstances. Blanche wanted to speak again the following week. What was the final year of Mr Hawke's life like? It was, it was both difficult and it was also one of the best times of our lives because we were so close and intimate during that time while I was his ma main carer. And we often, often said to each other, we've been blessed to have this period together. We, we didn't... Now, Lee, you're going to make me cry. I'm, not try I'm trying not to. I'm trying really hard not to, so I'm sorry. OK, well, we didn't have the joy of young love. He had that with Hazel. But we had the joy of mature love and then the love of old age. And people don't realise now, I really am not going to cry, how wonderful it can be to look after somebody you love when they're old and dying. The team at 7.30 works so hard to help viewers make sense of a world that feels less stable. Where are we and where is ISIS? We question the use of power. Can you please stand back a bit? Thank you. Why did you do that? Please respect this press conference. Any other questions? Yep. Yeah. We've been there when communities have been devastated by fire, drought and flood. So I don't know how we can carry on. <laughs> Some of my last programs were about unprecedented floods in Eastern Australia. So it's ending the way it began, because that was my very first program too. And that's all for this National Bulletin for now. More on the floods from ABC's Brisbane newsroom shortly, followed by a one-hour edition of the 7.30 Report.
Hello, I'm Lee Sales. Welcome to this ABC Current Affairs special, bringing you the very latest on the Queensland flood. I could not have imagined all those years ago when I started all the ways the world would change and the way my own life would too. Of all the amazing people I've met, some of the most amazing are the people I work with every day. Reporters, producers, people you've never heard of who work behind the scenes. They contribute so much to what you see on air and they are what I'll miss the most about 7.30. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's hilarious. As for what comes next, who knows? That's the beauty of news. That's the program for tonight. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow, but for now, thanks for your company. Until then, good night.